So I'm uh, the uh, executive vice president and managing director of uh, Mobext, which is Avas's mobile unit. We are the seat within the organization with the specialists to support all roughly 50 to 60 brands that Havas owns, and we support them by investing their dollars in mobile outcomes. Are, are they starting to get it? Because some of the clients that we deal with, they do still see it as a channel. They're still learning about it. You know, we live it all the time. I'm curious what your average customer, how they really see it. Great question. Uh, I'd say most don't. Most still see mobile as a channel, a, a check the box. Uh, and that's not to say that, you know, I want to denigrate clients because the fact is that they're struggling. Like there are people within the brands we work with who do understand this. Right. But the brands we work with, particularly large brands at higher agencies like Avas, tend to be larger legacy brands that have older models. Mm -hmm. If they grew up in a different way of building their brands and doing their advertising. And so as a result, pivoting on this stuff is very difficult for them and it's challenging for them. So what do you think one of the biggest opportunities is for a brand like that, that you know, whether they're, they're more educated or less, they're beginning to see it. How do you fundamentally change their business? What's, what's the biggest thing that mobile offers them right now? Great question. So we think, right, we think there's two parts of it. One is the experience for sure, right? So if you look at the day-to-day -day user, how any user, I, ask this, I would ask a CMO this question, right? I'd say, how does a consumer experience your brand today on a phone? What's the experience they have with your brand? Like do an analysis of it, like do a deep, real close analysis. Anytime they touch, interact with, see, engage with your brand on a device, what is it like? And ask yourself, is it one that drives them forward? Is it one that provides them with value? Is it one that makes it easy for them to consume your content? Is it one that easy for them to talk to you or engage with you? And if there's any friction or any way in which it doesn't make sense within that context, that's an opportunity for you. And it's the first thing you should do. And the second part is, okay, so let's say your experience are good. Now let's look at your distribution strategy. Mobile is not a channel. What it really is, it's a incredible intelligence activation platform. I mean, people are walking around the world right now with little monitors in their pockets. So we can find out where they go, the things they do, all this real world behavior that we can learn from somebody from their phones. We can extrapolate that stuff and you can get so much data and intelligence about the way your people live and the way they breathe that we can make your ads and your experiences that much more relevant for them. How do you help them get actionable insights as opposed to just hear some more facts? The questions you need to ask are pretty simple. One is, where is the data coming from? Right. Is the data source reliable? And the second part is what are you going to use it for? What's the most meaningful way that data can be used to make a difference for you? Right? So that it doesn't become so overwhelming. Right? So the first thing we like to say with, when it comes to the mobile space, first of all, is as I said before, mobile data right, from a mobile device tends to be more deterministic because if it comes from apps or it comes from other you know, app, application-based um, platforms, it's directly tied to a device, which means it's one-to-one, -one, which mm -hmm. means you can, you're actually like looking at a human being as opposed to bitstream data, which it's a lot of probabilistic stuff. Warren, this has been great fun. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Pleasure.